we have like all these marketing campaigns that we do and you know there's multiple other systems involved sometimes there's hubspot sometimes there's salesforce so you know so to so quickly connect all of the data and query it and you know that's where it kind of gets interesting so you know that's where even c data becomes really useful is that you know the, so because I'm again just me, so sometimes you know, like sitting and like figuring out API connections is a very long time for me. Whereas you know, within C Data Connect Cloud, you just log in, whatever minimum minimum setup, and then you already are good to go. You can query some of the data, and then sometimes even that data, the raw query data, is either needed in Excel just so that you know we want to like look at, you know, something like that, or it kind of moves into our. Um, ETLing solution. So, you know, extract, transforming, loading, which we primarily use. We are a Microsoft shop, so we primarily use um, Azure Data Factory for it. So, the bulk of C data used in our case comes from this, you know, like source applications, Excels, whatever, like on prem data, whatever, 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 all comes into one, like, you know, C data connect cloud as a middleware. And then that kind of attaches over to Azure Data Factory. That's the like that's maybe say the bulk of 85% of what I use C Data Connect Cloud for. And then within inside C Data Connect Clouds, I have custom queries written, which you know, especially when it comes to accounting systems, you have to like write a lot of like custom queries so that you know it kind of pulls in the best data what we want.